so I'm fixing to go put some cameras out on some public land. Um, and I wanted to do a little short video on these Rambo bike haulers. If you've got an e-bike and you're looking at how to transport them, uh, you've probably done a lot of research on e-bike haulers. And there's a bunch of them out there with all kinds of different names and price points. Uh, the Rambo e-bike hauler comes in pretty cheap on that end, closer to like 350 or something like that. Um, it's, it's good. It's, it's very functional. It's, you know, I wouldn't say it's the best, uh, but it does its job. So it does give you the ability to tilt it up and down. Uh, you can actually tilt it further down. So if I wanted to get in this hatch, um, I could, uh, one of the beauties of these e-bike haulers is I don't have to take my truck and get nine miles per gallon. If I want to haul my e-bike, I can take my SUV, my wife's SUV or something and uh, get a lot better gas mileage. One thing you'll notice about these, and that's what a lot of people have commented about them, is there's a lot of movement. So if I grab this or if it's bouncing on a road, you're going to see a lot of movement. So what you're going to want is one of these little cheap $10 things off Amazon um, that stabilize your, your hitch. I, I forget what they're called. I'll put a link in there. Hitch stabilizer thing or something. I don't know. But they're pretty basic. It's just a little uh, piece of metal. Got a little angle to one side. Get it right like that and then tighten it on up and what that'll do is that'll make sh extra pressure on this point here snug it up around this uh around your hitch and uh so should should give you a lot more stability out of your carry so we've tightened this on uh, the two bolts underneath there we've tightened that on gives you a little bit more stability on this hitch um still move it obviously but not near as much as i could uh, so let's throw the bike on here and uh look at it how it mounts on there One thing they're gonna recommend is remove your battery uh, when hauling this. I don't know if it's a weight issue or if it's, uh, you know, just worried about it bouncing off. I would also remove this front fender. Um, I know the last time I hauled it on there, it seemed like the wind um, had knocked it a little bit loose. So uh, take your battery off before you load it. It does make it lighter and remove that fender flare. You don't wanna get there and find out it blew off. All right, so we've got the uh, pretty basics. We've got this piece here um, pushing down and at an angle, um, kind of back into this bowl from this point up here. Uh, and it's it's tight, snug, and it does a good job. We've got our front tire kind of strapped down here, the rear tire strapped down here. Uh, they do send two ratchet straps that you're supposed to attach under this seat and down to your rack itself to kind of keep that downward movement. Um, you get a little bit of movement out of your bike. I don't know necessarily that's, you know, a bad thing. I think what makes those thousand dollar ones a little bit better is that you're getting this on both ends. Um, so you're getting those things that fold up and push down on the front tire and the back tire. Your back tire just kind of, that's the only thing really holding it on there. Uh, we're going to put some ratchet straps on here in just a second from under the seat. But for the most part, that's the only thing holding it on. All right, so we've got our ratchet straps installed. You can see they're just clipped in here under the seat. Uh, one side goes straight down to this bar, just wrapped around to itself. Uh, the other side, I went to this other bar over here. Now, if I had a second bike on, I probably wouldn't go to that bar. She'd have another bike running across here. Uh, but that does secure it up pretty good. Again, you're going to get some movement. Don't let that freak you out just too much because um, it's... You know, it's, it's going to move a little bit, but it's not tilting. Uh, the whole rack's relatively firm. Um, just make sure you're taking this mud flap off. Take your battery off. Uh, check all your straps. Make sure you got everything good and tight. Um, invest in this little $10 piece off Amazon. It will help. Uh, it's, it was way more wobblier. So I'll put that little $10 piece on there. And this little $10 piece, I can tell you, will be kind of a pain when you're having to uh, take it off again and put it back on and it's just one more thing to have to do uh, but the bike rack itself 
is does a good job and i think for the price point i think about 350 is what they retail for you can catch them on sale uh, once in a while for what they retail for it's hard to beat i mean it's it's less than half the price of uh, some other racks that are out there and the other racks granted probably are a little more secure but uh this bike's not going anywhere it's not uh there, there's let's see there's one two three four there's five points of contact holding this bike down it's not going anywhere unless you know i get in a serious accident i shouldn't have any issues with this um uh, with this bike rack do check these once in a while because you have to manually tighten these on uh, i had one that had kind of worked loose just from the vibrations and stuff over time so check those uh every once in a while stop and, and put a wrench on them but for the most part for the price point of this rack i think it does a good job um i think it'd be fine it'd be hard to uh to beat it i don't know that i would risk the no-name chinese knockoffs because you know this this mechanism right here if it fails on you uh, this thing's dragging the ground so at least uh, with rambo you feel like you're getting a name brand uh, that shouldn't just break and be a total catastrophe um, fingers crossed knock on wood you do have the ability to, to flip it up if you don't have a bike on and you want to just leave it on or you could tilt it down so that you can get in the back hatch uh that's you know every review's got that in there um same deal pretty firm pretty solid um flipped up no we're not going to bounce around too much so just one more feature all right so i uh, just got back from running some cameras on some public land um bike rack did good you know again you're going to have a little movement but it's not anything crazy um not anything out of the ordinary it helps having that clamp on there it's for sure uh rode in about two miles and then walked in uh probably another two miles after that so uh, would have been really tough without the without the rambo bike um i'm i'm super happy with this with the with the trailer on or the uh with super happy with the uh hitch i think it works good again you could pay double or more and have two of these and it'd be a little better I would have this in the front and they have it in the back and then of course you could run the straps around the tires and and the ratchet straps and stuff um, these are important you, you basically got to run the ratchet straps on them um, otherwise you you can get a lean with it um, because the back tire doesn't have much holding it down you just have that one little thing down at the bottom so you really got to run these ratchet straps um, for it to be super steady on there but the bike itself isn't going anywhere the rack will move a little bit but the bike itself is on there good and going nowhere so i, I do recommend the rambo uh hitch receiver you're going to see some people that have some probably some negative things to say about it uh, if you don't use it correctly uh, if you don't run the ratchets under the seat uh, if you don't put this little hitch stabilizer thing under there yeah it's, it's going to why it's going to shake a bunch and, and there's a chance your your bike could lean but if you use it properly, like they say in the instructions, I think it's a great rack. For the price point, it's, it's perfect. Uh, so anyway, feel free to uh, give me a like, a thumbs up. For